Hello everyone. Welcome to English 1001. I'm your instructor, Alicia Walton, and I look forward to working with you and getting to know you better throughout the semester. Right now, you're looking at our Canvas page as you see it when you first enter. As you scroll down, you'll see on the left-hand side that you have access to the syllabus, schedule, course modules, my instructor information, as well as some additional information regarding student resources here at UC and research resources. This is an additional link to some Canvas student orientation and it's here if you need it. Um, if you don't have a lot of experience with Canvas or if you just have some questions, this is a great place to connect with those resources. So first, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Alicia Walton. I am a PhD student here at UC in Rhetoric and Composition. I've also been an instructor for the, over 15 years now. I've taught uh, online and in person, and I've taught everything ranging from uh, business and technical communications to the, the introduction class that we're in right now. And I absolutely love everything about writing, editing, and teaching, editing and writing. So obviously I'm, I'm just a giant nerd. <laughs> I have a background in journalism and editing. I'm currently an editor for the uh, Writing Across the Curriculum publication um, in our Clearing House Practices and Possibilities series. This is a mostly academic clearing house, but it's a lot of fun. Before this, I was more focused in a lot of the fun feature and news writing, even some brief for forays into political writing. But now I am focused on my academic career. Let's get started on diving into our class and what the Canvas page looks like. The first thing you should do is to get started with our course materials is dive into the syllabus. As you can see here, my office hours are listed. I am available via WebEx on Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. and by appointment. So if this doesn't work for you, just reach out to me via email and we can schedule something. Please take a little bit and review this document. Uh, one, one thing I'd like to take a moment and point out is that we do have something a bit different this semester in our courses. Um, the English department here at UC has required us to use this specific textbook, which actually seems to be quite sound. Um, but the fun part of it is that you're going to be purchasing it online. And you need to make sure that when you purchase it online and you join, you use this join code, 517118. Here's a list of directions to go through that. If you run into any significant issues, here is the support information that you can use to reach out to Top Hat. I'm not a good Top Hat technical support person. In fact, I'm not one at all. You can make me aware if you're, in fact, I would encourage you to make me aware if you're having issues with the textbook, but you would need to reach out to Top Hat immediately to rectify that so that you can have access to the textbook because we do have uh, a significant portion of reading at the beginning of the semester. This course tends to be heavy reading at the beginning, lighter towards the end. This is how our papers are weighted out and I go over attendance, class behavior, etc. throughout this document. If you have any questions about anything here, please reach out to me, I'm happy to help. Also, if you have any disabilities or any concerns whatsoever and 
there's something that you need me to do to help you have a better learning experience, reach out to me and let me know. Next up, take a look at the schedule. I have the first five weeks pushed out here. You'll notice that I am showing you the week date. So I start on Monday. I have the primary text listed at the top and the readings underneath. I have a column for other readings and those are provided by me. There's a column titled overview slash work. This column gives a high level overview of what we'll be doing for the week or if assignments are given. And the final column covers due dates. So if I assign something for the week, so for example, this week, our first week of classes, I have assigned a journal entry, journal entry one, and a discussion board post. Each of these have due dates associated with them. For the discussion board post, you're required to post a response by uh, August 26th, which is Wednesday, and then you should be posting a response to two of your classmates by August 30th. These details are also listed within the discussion board post as well. The due date for the journal entry is August 30th. Most of the due dates for this course are on Sundays. Most of the due dates for this course are on Sundays. Sundays at midnight, in fact. The only time this is different is if there's some kind of holiday, I'm trying to give you an extension of some sort without complicating the schedule too much, or when it comes to the discussion board. The discussion board has a Wednesday, Friday thing rolling with it. And that's because I like for you to post a response and then I like for you to respond to your classmates. So there's that level of engagement within the discussion board. So it's Wednesday, Friday with the discussion board, or excuse me, Wednesday, Sunday with the discussion board and Sunday all around. And it's always midnight. I just make it at the very end of the day. You'll notice that when I assign a paper, it's highlighted in bold. These assignments become available on the Sunday before at 6 p.m. So this work is actually available right now to you because it's Sunday after 6 p.m. And I don't make it available before then unless there's some kind of special issue occurring. If you have something that you have going on and you need the work early for some reason, um, if it's a health issue or something like that, I can make an exception and you can let me know about that and I'm happy to help. But otherwise, I release the course material week by week. You can take a look at the schedule and see what's going to be happening, of course. And for now, you have the first five weeks. Within the next couple of weeks, I will be releasing the entire schedule for the rest of the semester so that you know what's going on for the entire 15 week period. And you can plan accordingly. I make all the dates that are anything's due well known in advance. The last thing I want you to do is have to spend time guessing. As a student, it's definitely something I, I'm not fond of. So back to the main page, we've looked at the syllabus, we've looked at the schedule. Let's quickly take a look at the course modules. Right now, you're only going to be able to see week one because that's all I have open. Now from my purview, I can see additional weeks. You'll see these as I publish them again. You'll see them on Sundays at 6 p.m. Each week, I list open this up. I'll have an overview that lists out the materials and my expectations. And then I have the materials or the actual content listed within the module itself so that you can follow it. Now, right now you're missing a video and that's the video I am actually recording. <laughs> you'll see this video pop up within here as well. So you'll have the video for study skills, managing your time, and you'll have the video for this introduction. 
additional weeks will pop up and you'll continue to be able to use whatever you have listed here and reflect back to whatever you had there. My information is listed here. So you have that to access whenever you need it. It typically takes me 24 to 48 hours to respond to an email. Papers, I try to grade them within a week to two weeks. Some papers, uh, depending on the paper, if it's, uh, we have a big paper later in the semester, it's the researched argument paper. That one can take me more than two weeks occasionally. But typically, I like to try to grade your work as quickly as possible, a week to two weeks. That way you can see how you're doing in the class and what's going on. I know what it's like to know, to need to know what you're working with there. Again, I'm Alicia Walton. I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you. And if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. I hope you have a wonderful semester. Please stay safe. And if you have any classes at all on campus, remember to take those masks. I know they're a pain to wear, but they're required if you're in an in-person class anywhere. So remember to take your mask, take an extra one and pack it in your bag just in case you forget one day. Um, and remember just to have that right there. Um, that way there aren't any disruptions or anything um, to your education process. And also, I just want you all to be safe and happy and healthy. Anyway, take care. Have a wonderful semester.